How often do you find yourself reaching for the charger to juice up your smartphone? It seems like we're constantly plugging in, doesn't it? This routine has almost become second nature for most of us. But is it really necessary to charge our phones so frequently? Could we be doing more harm than good by constantly keeping our devices plugged in? If you're charging your phone more often than you'd like, stick around as we delve into the correct way to charge your phone. First off, it's important to understand the basics of your phone's battery. At the heart of nearly every smartphone today is a type of battery called a lithium-ion battery. These batteries are favored for their high energy density, meaning they can store a lot of power without being overly bulky or heavy. Now let's talk about charge cycles. A charge cycle is defined as the process of charging a battery from 0% to 100% and then discharging it back to 0% again. Lithium ion batteries typically have a lifespan of around 500 to 1000 charge cycles. However, it's not as simple as it sounds. You see, lithium ion batteries don't like being at 100% or 0%. Extreme levels of charge can stress the battery and shorten its lifespan. That's why it's often recommended to keep your phone's battery level between 20 and 80%. But what about fast charging, you ask? While it's true that fast charging can fill up your battery in a jiffy, it also generates more heat, which is not good for the battery's health in the long run. So unless you're really in a hurry, it's better to stick with normal charging. Now, older batteries or those not based on lithium ion may have different charging needs. If your phone has an older battery, it might be best to keep the charge level between 40 and 80 percent. And let's not forget about the importance of using the right charging cable and adapter. Using low quality or non-original chargers can damage your battery and may even pose a fire risk. So in a nutshell, lithium ion batteries, charge cycles, the 20 to 80 percent rule, the potential pitfalls of fast charging and the importance of using the right charger. These are the fundamental things you need to know about your phone's battery. With that understanding, we can now explore the correct way to charge your phone. Now let's dive into the step-by-step -step process of correctly charging your phone. Our daily companion, the smartphone, is powered by a small but powerful lithium-ion battery. These batteries are most commonly used in today's smartphones. They prefer a middle ground, not too full, not too empty. So ideally, you should charge your phone when the battery level drops below 20% and unplug it when it reaches around 80%. This way, you're avoiding full cycles of charging, which can reduce the battery's lifespan over time. If your phone's battery is older, you might want to keep the charge between 40 and 80%. This range is considered to be the sweet spot for prolonging battery health. Now let's talk about fast charging. It's a convenient feature, isn't it? But just like a fast-paced lifestyle can lead to stress, fast charging generates more heat and can shorten your battery's life in the long run. So, it's better to use standard charging whenever possible. You might be thinking, but I charge my phone to 100% every day. Well, that's not necessary. Charging your phone once or twice a day should be sufficient. Remember to always use the original charger and adapter that came with your phone. Counterfeit or low-quality chargers can damage your battery and pose a risk of fire. Here's a handful of other tips. Don't charge your phone in extreme temperatures, too hot or too cold. Avoid using your phone while it's charging. Don't leave your phone plugged in all the time. And lastly, don't wait for your battery to go below 10% or to reach 100% before unplugging it. By following these steps, you can extend the life of your phone's battery and save yourself from frequent charging. To ensure you've got it all, here's a quick summary of the charging process. First and foremost, the type of battery in your phone plays a significant role. Most modern smartphones use lithium-ion batteries. These should ideally be charged when the battery level drops below 20% and should not be charged beyond 80%. Full charge and discharge cycles can shorten battery life. If your phone has an older battery, it's better to keep the charge level between 40 and 80%. The quick charge feature, while handy, can generate more heat and potentially shorten the battery life over time. It's advised to use normal charging whenever possible. You don't need to fully charge your phone every day. Charging once or twice a day is usually sufficient. Using the original charging cable and adapter is important, as low quality alternatives can damage your battery and pose a fire risk. Finally, be mindful of your phone's environment. Avoid charging in extreme hot or cold temperatures and don't leave your phone to charge in direct sunlight. Don't let the battery level drop below 10% or 
or wait for it to fully charge to 100%. Remembering these points can help you maintain your phone's battery health. As a bonus, here are some additional tips to keep your phone's battery in top shape. First off, be mindful of your phone's temperature. Extreme heat or cold can degrade your battery over time. So if you're charging your phone in a car on a hot day, for example, it might be a good idea to move it somewhere cooler. Now let's talk about usage during charging. It's tempting to scroll through social media or play a game while your phone is plugged in, but resist the urge. Using your phone while it's charging can cause it to heat up and potentially damage the battery. So give your device a break during charging sessions. Next on the list is your charging equipment. It might seem like all cables and adapters are created equal, but that's not the case. Using original charging cables and adapters is a smart move. They're specifically designed to work optimally with your device and pose less risk of causing damage or, in worst case scenarios, even fires. Also, try to avoid leaving your phone plugged in all night. Overcharging can cause your battery to degrade faster. It's best to unplug your phone once it hits a full charge. And don't wait until your battery drops to dangerously low levels before plugging it in. Constantly letting your battery get to less than 10% before charging can shorten its lifespan. Aim to start charging when your battery hits around 20%. Finally, consider your phone settings. Things like background apps, screen brightness, location services and Bluetooth connections can all drain your battery faster. When you're not using them, turn them off to conserve battery life. With these tips, you're well on your way to prolonging your phone's battery life. In conclusion, the way you charge your phone matters a lot more than you might think. It's not just about plugging in your phone when the battery level is low and unplugging it when it's full. There's a lot more to it than that. And understanding these nuances can significantly extend the life of your phone's battery. The majority of smartphones today use lithium ion batteries. These batteries function best when they're kept between 20 and 80% charged. Constantly charging your phone to 100% or letting it drain to zero can shorten the battery's lifespan. So, if you're in the habit of charging your phone overnight, you might want to rethink that. If your phone's battery is older, it might be best to keep the charge between 40 and 80%. Fast charging, while convenient, generates more heat and can degrade your battery faster over time. So, if time allows, opt for a normal charge instead. How often should you charge your phone? There's no need to charge it to full every day. Charging it once or twice a day is usually enough. And remember, always use the original charging cable and adapter. Low quality substitutes can damage your battery and pose a fire risk. Here are some additional tips to consider. Avoid charging your phone in extreme temperatures. Don't use your phone while it's charging. Don't leave your phone plugged in once it's fully charged. And if possible, turn off your phone or switch it to airplane mode when you're not using it. In the end, the goal is to extend the life of your phone's battery and ensure a smooth user experience. By adopting these charging habits, you're not just preserving your battery, you're also getting the most out of your device. By charging your phone correctly, you can maximize its battery life and enjoy a better user experience. Thanks for watching, and remember to keep your phone's battery happy.